Charlemagne fires back at academics. One one other thing Ak said that that was interesting. Ak was saying because he kept referencing television. Yeah, and he was saying that you know Wendy Williams was able to take her radio audience to TV. If if your if your if your thing is television, if you want to say, hey man, people don't follow Charlemagne from radio to TV. It, it, it might be some truth to that. Andrew or somebody said it. It's like, yo, say what you want about Breakfast Club when it comes to hip hop media and taking that content and being consistent and putting it out every single day. That it, we, we were we were we were 100 percent doing yeah. that. That's right. On a recent episode of Brilliant Idiots, Charlemagne decided to address some of the claims that academics made on the Flagrant 2 podcast. I think a lot of this emanates in the discussion, the debate that was had about the top radio host of all time. And academics found himself at odds with a bunch of people on the show who are obviously pro Charlemagne. Basically saying that, you know, Charlemagne is number two all time in radio, which I think was a big old reach. And I don't even know if academics was being confrontational. I think he was just being realistic. One of the things academics said was that Charlemagne's audience doesn't translate to TV. And academics is right about that. But on that show, he was surrounded by Andrew Schultz, Alex Media, and a bunch of other folks who probably owe their careers to Charlemagne. So I don't think an honest discussion could have been had, but it does look like Charlemagne was a little bit affected by what academics had to say as academics is a huge voice in the culture. And just a little bit ago, academics used to really cater to Charlemagne. You know, he used to big him up, talk about him with the same reverence that folks like Andrew Schultz and others used to do. But it seems like academics might have turned over a new leaf ever since Big Loon was on Charlemagne's Brilliant Idiots podcast and basically destroyed all of academics credibility hinting that academics is just some type of gossip live streamer with no type of talent whatsoever basically a whole big bunch of cap so now what happens i think one thing i would say back to the point of charlemagne defending his legacy is i think the biggest knock against charlemagne is not that he's not successful at tv it's that he's not that dominant at radio the radio ratings for the Breakfast Club have never been dominant. And the only plus side of what they got going on is that they were dominant on YouTube. But I would argue that there was no other competitors. And now that there have been a new bunch of competitors rising in the field, the Breakfast Club's light doesn't shine as bright. And this recent reaction by Charlemagne tells me he's trying to manicure his legacy. He's trying to control the narrative about his impact. As the days pass, Charlemagne is becoming more of a mogul and he's fading into the background as other creators who are willing to take risks outshine him. But let me know what you think in the comments about this brewing war, this media content pod war between academics and Charlemagne. The master and the pupil might be going off on each other soon. There's also other elements of this with academics having Troy Av on the Academy and Troy Av being someone who isn't that favorable to Charlemagne. Things are heating up, y'all. Things are happening and we have to pay attention to what's going on. You know, these media wars never stop. I find it funny. Some people saying they're not going to engage in media wars. That's not how this goes. Media wars never end. The egos are fragile. And legacies must be curated and maintained. All right, y'all, that's my video for today. Let me know what you think about this. It's an interesting discussion to be had. And we will see what the future holds for Charlemagne, the Breakfast Club, academics. You know, academics is going through his whole thing, too. The Academy has launched. Some people say that that's not that successful. Um, but, I mean, it's a new thing, so... We will see. I will be monitoring. I might do a video about it, but let me know what you think about the Academy in the comments. Do you feel like academics has what it takes to establish a network of individuals that people will care about outside of himself? That's very hard. 
The only person who may have done that is Joe Budden. Um, Charlemagne did that as well, but they all had to leave his nest. Like, I don't think anybody is signed to Charlemagne. Like, Andrew Schultz isn't signed to Charlemagne. He's not on the Black Effect. Alex Media, I, a lot of the people who end up on Black Effect leave, but Academics is trying to start something from the ground up. And I'm curious to see where that goes. All right, y'all. That's my video on this subject. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace. You hardly speak English. Let's talk about it. You have a twine when you talk. And Articulate, no nigga. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right, my fault.